In this video, we're going to look at the sensible and latent heat transfer equation for air. This is useful when trying to determine either of the three variables, BTUs, CFM, or delta in enthalpy. When you know two of these values, you can determine the remaining missing value. We'll need to look at a psychrometric chart to gather the information needed for this calculation. This is also easily done using software, but it's best to know how the software arrives at these values. We'll begin by calculating for the BTUs when given the CFM and the temperature and relative humidity of the entering and leaving air conditions. Remember, we're dealing with both sensible and latent heat. That means that we're dealing with two factors, the sensible, or change in temperature, and the latent, the change in state. In this case, it will be moisture condensing on a cooling coil. Looking at the chilled water coil, we see that there is 2,000 cubic feet per minute of air flowing through this coil, and the temperature of the entering air is 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 40% relative humidity with the leaving air at 55 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% relative humidity. With this information, we can solve for how many BTUs are being supplied to the air. Step one is to plot the entering and leaving air conditions on a psychometric chart to determine the enthalpy. For the entering air conditions of 90 degrees Fahrenheit and 40% relative humidity, we enter here along the horizontal part of the chart that reflects temperature and then we go vertically straight up from there until we hit our 40% relative humidity line and then diagonally to the left until we intersect the enthalpy line. Here we get an enthalpy of 34.9 and then we plot the leaving air conditions of 55 degrees Fahrenheit and 100% relative humidity, we get an enthalpy of 23.2. 34.9 minus 23.2 gives us an enthalpy of 11.7 BTUs per pound. Step two is to put all the known values into our formula and make the calculation we have our formula of Q equals CFM times 4.5 times delta H. Now we enter our values. We get Q equals 2000 times 4.5 times 11.7 equals 105,300 BTUs per hour. Now we can quickly explain where the value of 4.5 in the calculation is derived from. First, we have the weight of air at 0.075 pounds per cubic foot. Then we have the conversion of minutes into hours. This is what that looks like. 0 0.075 pounds per cubic foot times 60 minutes per hour equals 4.5. With all these units, we can see which units of value remain by crossing out those that are eliminated in the formula, such as Q equals 2,000 cubic feet per minute times 0 0.075 pounds per cubic foot times 60 minutes per hour times 11.7 BTUs per pound equals 105,300 BTUs per hour. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.